Hello guys, Sean Foggett here, welcome back to another video. The transfer window has officially shut, so I'm going to be reviewing Manchester City's transfer window and giving it a rating out of 10. As you can see, I've got the new City away shirt, I've got Kovacic on the back. I do like more of a review on the shirt, maybe in a separate video, but this video is going to be purely based on um, the transfer window. I'm not going to talk too loud because of the time that it is, it's nearly 2 o'clock in the morning. But I'm still going to do this video. But it might not be like the loudest that you've seen me in like other videos. Um, but let's get into this. The incomings were Mateus Nunes from Wolves. 55 million plus. 5 million on add-ons. Josko Gavardio from RB Leipzig. 77 million. pounds and 86 million in euros Jeremy Doku from Rennes 51 million and Matteo Kovacic from Chelsea 30 million um The outgoings, Jao Cancelo went to Barcelona on loan with no obligation to buy. James Trafford went to Burnley. Issa Kabor, who's never actually played a professional game for City, went to Luton. Mares went to Al Etihad, I think. That's the name of the club anyway. I, I don't know if, it, how, that's, if that's how you say it, but that's how I personally say it. Gundwan's left on a free to go to Barcelona. Cole Palmer's gone to Chelsea. Um, for forty five million. Laporte's gone to Al Nasser. I think the only really outgoing that kind of is the one that I'm gonna miss the most is Ilkay Gundwan, because he's always stepped up for us in big moments. And we haven't really replaced him like with like a mid, with like a midfielder that knows like where the net is. Cause no offense to Kovacic or Nunes, but they're not going to be getting as many goals as Ilkay Gundogan did for us. That they they get the odd goal or two, but they're not going to get as many as Gundogan. My my rating for the window would probably be like. A 9 out of 10, because it's a shame that we let go of McAtee on loan, but I think it alone is kind of the best thing for him, because I think that he wasn't really going to play that much, so it kind of made sense for that reason. And if we'd have got someone like maybe like Bellingham or like Wurtz, that is more of a goal scoring type of midfielder then I think it would have been a 10 but for now I'm going to go for a 9 it's, it's it's not been our best window but it's not been our worst but I'm happy with uh, the transfer window I think Nunes will do well the the only issue is what do you really do with him when Kevin De Bruyne comes back from injury because when Kevin De Bruyne comes back from injury, he's obviously going to want to play. And when he's fully fit, he's obviously going to be one of the first names on the team sheet, bar like maybe like one or two, like Rodri and probably Edison. Because um, Haaland is not exactly one of the first names on the team sheet because there have been times when he hasn't played that we've done all right without him. Um, but I think when De Bruyne comes back, you might see Nunes on the bench a bit more, unless like he does like really well in the time that De Bruyne is out for, and De Bruyne has to fight his way back into the starting eleven. I I think this means that Calvin Phillips 
might leave in January because I don't see how he gets into the team because you've got Kovacic who can play the sixth role, which is where Calvin Phillips plays. And he he can also play the eight where Calvin Phillips can play, whereas I don't see with with Nunes and Kovacic both being able to play in two positions that Phillips plays in, that Phillips is going to stay now. I can see him going in January or the summer because he's just not going to get the game time now. It It, it is a shame because he does seem a nice guy and he probably will end up having a half-decent career elsewhere, but I think for City, he's just not good enough to start, unfortunately. I think Kovacic is going to have a good season. I can see him getting quite a few assists. I think Givardio might get um the Young Player of the Season award come the end of the season. I think Doku's going to be bedded in. I think you'll you'll see him off the bench a lot this season, but I think there might be like times where he doesn't play for a bit because I think he he might like. Because I think Pep's going to do a similar thing to, with him that he did with Sane. And that's have him on the bench quite a lot in his first season. But in his second season, that's where you're going to see him starting more often. And I think it's going to be good because it's our first fast winger that we've had since like Raheem Sterling left to Chelsea. So, yeah. Thanks for watching this video. Like, share, subscribe. And I hope you have enjoyed it. And have a lovely rest of your night or day wherever you are whatever time you're watching this and i'll see you guys for a, probably i'll do some football reaction tomorrow i'll probably do a reaction to the fulham game i think it'll be 3-1 city i think harlem will get a hat trick and i think someone like triore will probably get a goal for them because i think his record against us is is good so i think for that reason he might get a goal if fulham do score because they've got a Wobi in, they've got Jimenez from Wolves in. Um, they've lost um, Mitrovic. They've managed to keep hold of Paulinho, even though it looked like for a while that he was going to go to Bayern Munich. So then it's not going to be an easy game, but I think we will win because it's at the Etihad and we have a really good strong record against Fulham. And they've got two good results against um, Tottenham in the Carabao Cup and Arsenal in the league. So I don't think they're going to get another good result against another top six side for the third time in a row in like a week or so or like a short period of time. But you never know it's possible, but I can see us winning by at least two goals tomorrow. But the main thing is getting the three points and going into the international break with maximum points. Um, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Before I go, I'm going to do my uh, team prediction for the Fulham game. I think Edison will start in goal. Centre-backs, I think it's going to be... Gavardio and Diaz. Right back is going to be Carl Walker. Left back is going to be Ake. Your midfield is going to be Rodri, Bernardo Silva and Kovacic. And then your front three is going to be um, I wouldn't be surprised if you see Foden on the right tomorrow with Grealish on the left and then Haaland down the middle. Because I think Doku will probably come off the bench. That's my prediction. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video.